LFO is an audio MIDI modulator and UV3 plugin for iOS. It can both process audio signals and use its oscillator to control MIDI mappable parameters across the whole project. Let's take a quick look at how to map it to control something in Drembo. First of all, we need to load the plugin. LFO is an audio processor with MIDI capabilities, therefore it can only be loaded as an audio unit processor. To use LFO's MIDI output in Drembo, we must pair it with the MIDI CC controller module, which can be found in the MIDI menu. As long as LFO's MIDI CC number matches the MIDI CC controller's number, placing it on the right of it will be enough to connect them. You can check their connection by tapping the MIDI CC module's MIDI icon to make sure the signal is flowing properly. At this point, you can use Drembo's standard modulation system to use the MIDI CC controller module's output, controlled by LFO, to modulate any parameter that's exposed to MIDI mapping in any track across the whole project, including third-party plugins. To assign a parameter to it, simply tap and hold, and assign it to the MIDI CC module's output. To control the modulation straight from LFO, make sure that the modulation and turnoverter is set all the way to the right, which makes it pass through completely unaffected. You can then use LFO's min and max to adjust its range and even inverting it. We suggest to use Drembo's turnoverters only if you decide to use the same LFO's instance to control multiple parameters at once. On the other hand, if you wish to use multiple instances of LFO to modulate different parameters, simply remember to create a MIDI CC module for each instance and match their CC numbers with unique values for each pair, as long as they are in the same track. 